Hey everyone, we're talking about reproduction and development. Focusing on the reproduction side, uh, but in this video, we're going to take a close look, not too close, of human reproduction. Now, I'm sure you know a lot about this. You've seen plenty of uh, health videos or done your own research, but for our purposes, we're really looking at how this influences human development. And that's really our lens when we look at some of the details of human reproduction. So let's get started. We're going to start with the female reproductive system. And uh, right away, I want to make sure that we are all in sync. The reproductive system is a body system, but it is also closely linked to the endocrine system. That's the system that really controls the hormones and long-term growth of our bodies. The female reproductive hormones are estrogen and progesterone. And they play a very important role in readying the body and readying the female uh, reproductive system for sexual reproduction, but also pregnancy. The ovary is the reproductive gland, and that's the structure that makes or holds the eggs. And each ovary, because there are two, contains all the eggs that a woman will release in her lifetime. One egg is released each month from the time of puberty to the time of menopause. Uh, the egg is kept in something called a follicle. So in this diagram, uh, these are follicles, these circular structures, and the egg are these smaller parts that are kind of tucked away inside of them. So the follicle is almost like a uh, protective structure that ruptures right, and releases the egg to be fertilized. This process of releasing the egg is ovulation. Ovulation is the release of an egg from the ovary follicle. So female uh, reproductive systems are designed on for, for human beings, obviously, for internal fertilization and internal development. What does that mean? Internal fertilization means fertilization is taking place inside the female. And internal development means the offspring develops inside. An example of external development would be like a chicken. Chickens lay eggs. The development happens outside of the body. Fertilization is the process of sp sperm and egg meeting. External fertilization shown on the left here between the two fish. All right, the female releases the eggs into an area and the male fertilizes those eggs. By releasing sperm. Fertilization process takes place outside of the body. In the picture on the right, these chickens are reproducing using internal fertilization. The sperm is traveling through a reproductive tube to meet the ovary or I'm sorry, the egg, which is produced by the ovary. That's internal fertilization. So looking at how that works, we're Looking at an egg being released from an ovary, here come the sperm, many sperm versus the one egg, but only one sperm wins that race and penetrates through uh, the outer membrane of the egg. That triggers the fusion of the two nuclei to make a zygote, right? And we talked about what a zygote is. A zygote is the fusion of nuclei. So the sperm nuclei plus the egg nuclei together, all right? form one whole nucleus. So 23 plus 23 equals 46. It makes a complete cell. So a zygote is a complete cell, has all the chromosomes it needs to go through the next series of stages, which are cell division and differentiation, which we'll talk about later. Also part of the female reproductive system is the uterus. Now the uterus is a thick walled structure. You can see it here. And it supports implantation. Internal development means that the uh, offspring, the embryo, will implant and grow something called a placenta. 
Now, placenta is uh, an organ that's temporary. It's only there during pregnancy, and it is removed as birth after the baby. But it contains a network of blood vessels, and those blood vessels supply the fetus as it grows with uh, nutrients, oxygen, and also takes away um, wastes. After fertilization takes place, the, the egg cell starts to divide, and that, we, that division is mitosis, right? So one cell becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight, eight becomes 16, 16 becomes 32, 32 becomes 64. I could do this forever, but you get the point, right? Is one cell, the zygote, turns into many cells, and that's what you see here, a ball of cells. Once it's the ball of cells, it can implant into the uterus wall and start to grow that structure we called a placenta. And after that, development takes place. This is what it looks like um, inside. It's part of the uterus and it is filled with blood vessels and those blood vessels allow the exchange between the growing embryo and the mother and they connect to the umbilical cord and then once development has reached maturity so we get to our ninth month full gestation as we say the baby is ready to be birthed so the baby's head descends down the birth canal and starts to push against the cervix that sends nerve impulses from the cervix to the brain. If the brain releases from a pituitary gland hormone called oxytocin. Oxytocin is carried through the bloodstream, gets to the uterus, and the, simulates these contractions. So the muscles contract, like squeeze. And that squeezing forces the baby out. But in the process, it also puts more pressure on the cervix which causes this cycle to continue. This is an example of positive feedback. The positive feedback mechanism because it just keeps going and going and going. It gets stronger and stronger and stronger until the baby is pushed and birthed out of the uterus. But we spent a lot of time talking about the female anatomy. Let's spend some time talking about the male reproductive system. Men have a hormone that's circulating in their bodies called testosterone and testosterone controls characteristics such as the deepening of the voice the you know hairy chests and hair on legs and um, body odor those are all things that testosterone does control but most importantly what testosterone controls is the production of sperm and it's done in two organs called testes and they sit outside the body men are always producing sperm and no two sperm cells are alike, and they are released in, in mass, uh, and only one can get into the egg and fertilize the egg. 